<laughs> yeah, buddy. How about that? If you had one night in La Jolla and two cameras, what would you do? Dude, we are here. We made it. San Diego, La Jolla, Scripps Pier. We're gonna go down here and take some pictures. Start with Bronco over here. I am so pumped right now. <laughs> So we got booked for a job out in California to go up to Joshua Tree, but we had one night in La Jolla, San Diego, just a few hours to kill, and we wanted to make the most of the time. So we set out to find one of the most epic spots that we could think of to take photos after doing some research. We found this place called Scripps Pier down on La Jolla Beach. This place was awesome. Almost had the whole place all to myself. So that allowed me to play around with my camera, use different settings. I think my absolute favorite shots from this are the one where I was dragging the shutter. Now that's a technique where you put it way slow so that that water gives you this really cool motion. Makes it look very dreamlike, almost like a painting. Every time I do a picture like that and I do a print, people are like, how did you get the water to look like that? Well, it's a pretty simple technique. You just gotta have your camera on a tripod and then you can play around with different shutter speeds. Slowing it down just to see what kind of effects that you're gonna achieve. So like I said, we had a few hours one night in La Jolla because the next morning we were rolling up to Joshua Tree National Park for another photo project. That's gonna be an upcoming video. So please make sure you're subscribed so you can get a notification when we drop that one. And if you're into it, hit the like button for us. Every little thing helps. Give us comments, let us know how you like these videos. We sure do appreciate that. Okay, so we started off with the Canon R5. You see me down on the beach, I'm taking pictures. That's how I'm getting all this awesome stuff because this is just the camera that I'm used to from doing years and years of landscape photography, putting all those skills to the test underneath the pier to get these amazing shots. Then later on in the evening, after the sun went down, we decided to go get some food. That's where this comes in, the trusty Fuji X100V. I always have this camera on me in my bag or I, I, I sling it around. So I, of course I took this after we found a place to park. We were walking around downtown La Jolla on our way to get some food and you know I'm gonna find cool stuff to take pictures of. So that's what we got right here. Now a couple quick call outs, just in case you're wondering, the backpack I was using is the Shimoda Explorer. It's the V2 30 liter camera backpack. This thing's pretty nice. Uh, I wish it held a 16 inch laptop a little better. You could smash it in there, but I don't really like to. I ended up putting it in the front. And then the other key, key piece of gear there is the tripod. I was using the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod. This thing is actually pretty awesome and you'll hear me talk about this quite a bit. I've taken it on several adventures and jobs. This is, it's just small, it's lightweight, it's pretty versatile, love this tripod. Anyways, like I said, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, drop a comment if you're into it. We appreciate you, have a creative day.
like there's there's a variety of different images because there's like you know when we started and as the sun moves and goes up and down <laughs> with the sun going up and down no it's just going down dumbass